Today's video, we're going to be talking about solidifying that full-time job and making that the anchor of your multiple sources of income in 2019. Hey guys, welcome back. Really appreciate you checking out the channel. If you're new here, this channel is all about finding your financial independence. And hopefully I document a little bit of my, uh, my journey as well. So if you, that sounds interesting to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell. I don't want you missing out on anything, right? So today's video, like I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about solidifying that full-time income and using that as an anchor for your uh, multiple sources of income journey in 2019, right? So, so let's start off with what inspired me to uh, to even make this video here. And I'm going to be honest with you, I've, I've been seeing there's this trend, I guess. Uh, I guess I don't know specifically why it's kind of starting now. It's kind of always been an undertone, but it's really starting to rear its head now where there's a lot of folks out there doing the, you know, hey, dump your full-time job. Uh, if you're ever going to succeed in any of this, you, you, you have to go 100%. Um, and, you know, by the way, don't go to college. College sucks, all this other stuff. And I got to be honest with you, it bugs me a little bit um, because, uh, honestly, there's a lot of people out there that, that can't make those decisions and can't afford to make those decisions. A lot of us have responsibilities, whether it's to our families or to ourselves or, uh, you know, any of those things. We can't afford to make those those types of drastic decisions you know for a lot of us if we're single and we have no family relying on us you know we're, we're the only source of our own income and our own our income really strictly goes back into our own pocket i get it it's a much easier decision you don't quite have the responsibilities but if you're like myself you have a family you have bills you got a mortgage you you can't just say hey tomorrow i'm gonna walk away from something right so that's kind of what inspired me to make this uh, uh make this video uh, because a lot of us out there don't have that freedom necessarily to even make that decision, you know, because we have to stay true to ourselves. We have to, you know, maintain responsibility to ourselves and to our families. Right. And as far as the college thing is concerned, I get it. You know, everybody's, hey, you know, hey, college sucks and this and it's overrated and all that other stuff. And it's a waste of money. And but there's but the piece that a lot of people don't talk about is there's plenty of uh, industries out there that you have to have a college degree in order to get into. And uh, that's normally the thing that people, uh, you know, don't address and just kind of let fall to the wayside. So that's just my thoughts on that. But let's start getting into this full time deal. First off, I'd like to say that, uh, you know, having the full time job is nothing to be ashamed of or anything like that. There's, you know, millions and millions of people every year that are doing that and making a lot of money at it, using the income that they get from that full time job putting it in the bank, make, investing with it, paying off their mortgage, paying off their debts, <clears throat> excuse me, and they're, they're, they're doing a great job with it, right? So what I'm trying to do, I guess, is kind of a little bit of a pivot is, is I really want to keep that full-time income uh, f flowing in and, and maintaining that. So reason I, I do that is as part of my multiple sources of income plan is I like to have a, a, a an anchor or a foundation. And for me, that's my full-time income, right? So I'm going to tell you right now, I know previously I've done, um, you know, income update videos. And I know for a fact that you're, you're always going to see that that full-time income be 95 to 98% of that income. And while I'd like to lower that a little bit and maybe make it 80% of my income, you, you know, it's still going to be a huge, huge, a portion and a percentage of my year, uh, at least my monthly income, right? So I thought about it and I really wanted to kind of, I don't want to say celebrate, but kind of, you know, uh, let you guys out there know that, you know, that this full-time deal is, is the right thing to be doing. If it's right for you and you evaluate it and you think it's the right thing, uh, definitely don't be ashamed of it, but also how do you solidify it? How do you make sure that no matter what, you're making sure that that foundation is getting stronger and stronger while you're also trying to improve your side hustle and bring in some more of that extra income. Right? The one thing I'm going to say is, and this is probably going to be a little obvious, but it's something that I've, I've struggled with in the past because I get so in depth and ingrained with what I'm doing that sometimes I don't, you know, stop and smell the roses, so to speak. And what that is, is to 
always look out for new opportunities, right? Like I said, sounds super, oh yeah, yeah, obviously got it. But it's very key because there's opportunities constantly around you that if you're not looking for them, they're not going to find you. You know, the opportunity is not just going to hit you in the face and say, hey, oh, by the way, here it is. Here I am. Come take it. You know, uh, you have to go out and you have to search it. You know, you, you, there's not going to be anybody else out there that's more focused on you and your career than you. And, uh, and I think that speaks volumes. And, you know, sometimes all you have to do is just ask. Uh, I found that out in my personal life. Uh, you know, sometimes you have a boss or whatever and you're like, you know, there's, there's not really a whole lot of, of opportunities out there, but you ask and sometimes just asking, you know, you, you start finding out and maybe, maybe you get a different perspective, right? So always look for those opportunities, guys. The second piece to this is it kind of falls, you know, right into that is don't be afraid to take those opportunities, right? So like I said, you know, folks, folks that have a full-time job, most of us have that full-time job because, you know, like I said, we, we, we have to maintain what we have and we like to have that foundation. And by the way, we still have to put food on the table and, and invest in, in college funds and pay off the mortgage and stuff like that. So my piece to this is don't be afraid to take these opportunities sometimes. Definitely evaluate the opportunities, but don't be afraid to take them, right? So if it's something where, you know, you're going to be making a little bit more money at your job and maybe trying something new, that's that could be a great opportunity for you. Likewise, if it's something where it's, the, you know, the new opportunity could be making more money, but you have to move across the country and relocate your family, maybe that's not right for you, you know? So you have to... You have to evaluate it and there's always that responsibility piece to it and that's completely up to you to figure out. And then lastly, the one thing I'm going to say is, is an opportunity may present itself, but it's not always going to be in the form of additional money. So if you're looking for, hey man, I'm just looking for something to pop up the salary and that's that, that's fine. But you have to know that going and you have to understand that you yourself, that's the only thing that you value as an opportunity. But I'm here to tell you that there's other opportunities out there. And very specifically is an improvement in your skill sets, right? So, um, so for me, uh, recently uh, decided that I was going to take a, a, a career change here and uh, getting ready to start something new. And, fr and from the simple standpoint of it's going to be a completely different set of skills that I'm going to have to use uh, and incubate and uh, uh, mature just that alone, forget about, you know, uh, uh, you know, for, forget about the increase in salary, but you know, d the fact that I'm going to have a different skill set is 100% worth it. Right. So obviously, like I said, you got to make sure that it's an economical decision for you, no doubt about it. But at the end of the day too, if you're in a technical field, right. And you all of a sudden have the ability maybe to, to learn how to sell or learn how to market, or maybe you're not very good with finances, or you're not very good with accounting, but maybe you find an opportunity where you could take on some of those roles, get paid for it, just like you're doing today. But like I said, mature those skills, that in itself is an opportunity. So if and when you finally decide, hey, I'm done with this, I'm going to do my own thing, you have those skills that you didn't have before, right? So just keep in mind, guys, not every opportunity is going to be a financial opportunity. And, and don't be blind to those because there's going to be a lot of opportunities that hit you that are not going to jump right down at you because it's not going to be the big dollar signs. But if you really sit down and think about it and really evaluate what the opportunity is, there's a lot of gold in those opportunities, right? Yes, yeah, so that's all I got this week, guys. Uh, this video is going to tie into, I think, the rest of the Monday Mindset videos here in June. As you guys know, I like to keep a, a, monthly, a monthly theme going, and I think this is kind of a great way to kick this off. So that's all I got for today, guys. I want you guys to crush it. Uh, I, I, you know, I wish you guys nothing but success. I want to see you all out there be financially independent and on the road to your own success. All right, guys. So have a great week. Enjoy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.